Good morning students. We will continue with 11th standard economics distribution analysis 6th chapter. In that next topic is that Keynes liquidity preference theory of interest or monetary theory of interest. This was developed by propound by Keynes economics. He has written this in, in his book called as a general theory of employment interest and money in 1936. One word they may ask this. So according to this theory, that means the a rate of interest is calculated in terms of money only we can calculate. The interest is reward for a with a liquidity specific period of time. That means the money what we are keeping for a one month means uh, the interest will differ. If you are keeping for a more than a six month means interest will differ. If you are keeping that money for the more than a one year na interest bank la poni na ni can fix a deposit if you are keeping means one year ka interest is different. If you are keeping that same amount for five years na interest is different. So that is what the specific period of a time what you are keeping the money for that the reward will be interest may increases or decreases so according to this the money whatever you hold in form of a wealth is rather than the cash liquidity in form of a liquidity if you have an asset or building or land if you keeping as asset now that is different instead of that one you keeping the money in your hand so that is what a liquidity day to day activity whatever the money you need it that you are keeping instead of using that money or you are having a, a liquidity asset like bond security bills of exchange land building gold if you are keeping that is a wealth here according to a year a liquidity preference can be motives can be of three types Transaction motive, precautionary motive, speculative motive. Transaction motive means according to the Keynes, the money what you are having, the people will desire, people will like to have the money in their hand, day to day activity kaga, whatever money they keeping in their hand, that is called as a transaction motive. So in your family, uh, one day what are the amount we needed, that money you will keep in your home. We all the salary cannot be kept in the bank. Day to day activity, some money we have to, that money you will keep in your home. So that is what as a transaction motive. Next is a, a for that formula M1 is equal to F of Y, function of income, that is F of Y. Next is a precautionary motive. Precautionary motive means if you unexpected anything will happen for that you keep the money maybe your business you are doing means a uh, fire accident will come theft uh, they will do if uh, if your family members anything a uh, sickness suddenly they are for that you have to keep the money no that is called as a precautionary motive that can be in the formula uh, m p is equal to f of y precautionary mp in a precautionary next is a speculative motive speculative motive in the sense the people hold the cash in order to take the advantage of a, a market movement that means <coughs> people will keep the money using the market uh, situation if an interest rate is a uh, more means uh, they will won't keep the money in their hand they will keep in the bank because the more interest will come if the interest rate is less means uh, they will take the money and keep it in there so this is depend upon the market situation so if a interest rate more liquidity less vice versa so determinants of this uh, interest rate in the sense according to the Keynes rate of interest is determined by the demand of a money and supply if a money supply is more means uh, automatically interest rate will reduces if a money supply is less means uh, interest rate will be more so according to here you can see there the supply of a money is determined by the policy so if the supply of money increases or decreases that is depend upon the government policy if a national income 
depend upon the national income only then the government will take a decision and put the policies so here this can be <coughs> explained by equilibrium between demand and supply you are using the diagram a lp is a liquidity preference that is a m2 and m2 shows a supply curve of money for the speculative motive speculative motive in the sense uh, interest decreases or decreases increases decreases. according to that you hold the money interest jaasti avada kammi avada adha vechi da nee kaiyila kaasu vechi nerpiya illaya adha da the both curve intersect at the point e using the diagram you can see here both curve you can see the money supply is constant and the blue color line it is there m2 n potrukalam and money supply is constant interest rate only increases decreases according to that increase it decreases of interest rate only in the curve irukku par liquidity it increases or decreases see here the interest rate is a curve you can see lp2 lp1 if the liquidity preference increases from lp2 li pi that means lp that's orange color curve l1 and p1 is a red color curve the supply of a money is constant center line m is a constant oi and oi2 you can see in the side y axis la pathina theriyum so according to your interest rate only supply of a liquidity whatever the money in your hand you can keep increases or decreases and with a one more example same with a using the diagram the demand and supply you can see the diagram a demand for a money is equal to the supply of a money so money the demand whatever it is that should be equal to the supply number use pandra money demand it should be there then according to supply only demand will increases or decreases so the interest rate is influenced by the national ipo in interest rate and the bank le increases or decreases how they will determine means or country or the national income increases or decreases according to that only interest rate will increases decreases national income if it's a high means interest rate automatically will reduces country will have more money na uh, loan will be given to everyone interest with a less interest they can give and the deposit in your uh, money in your bank na interest rate will be less that time the supply of money is more you are interest no need for them that's what the meaning if a supply of money is less means uh, your interest your money is needed for the Uh, uh for the investment for other business or for your money whatever you are keeping in your hand that money is needed for the country na you to attract you they will increase the interest rate that's what the mean so here lp remains constant lp remains constant that liquidity preference remain constant if a supply of a money is om2 and the interest tech is oi2 you can see in the side oi2 in the y axis if the supply of money is reduces om2 a o m3 down the y x axis la you can see om2 to om3 reduce keela vanduchina munnadi vanduchina reduces the interest rate will increases in the y axis la it will increase x axis la decrease ana y axis la that interest will increases the supply money is increases for om to om4 om2 land om4 la if it's increase orange line ku la increase aachina parallel line m irukla adla vand increase aachina the interest rate will decreases from oi to oi4 down la first line ku vandru so idha interest tech point vand e2 nu last la mudichidu so this is what, according to the interest rate ya money supply and also liquidity preference what are the money in your hand will decreases or increases so for this criticism they are given this theory does not explain the difference different interest rate 
whatever first whatever what is the rate in the market that they did not explained or did not give present situation is what they did not explain it and they explained only for the short run they did not explain about the long run so these are all about the liquidity preference theory of interest by the keynes